Hey everyone, Larry here again, back to share something with you that maybe you might find interesting, especially if you are a garage brewer uh, or a person who brews in multi-purpose spaces, like a garage, like I am in currently right now, where you gotta put your equipment away every day and drag it out every time you wanna use it. Um, always a burden to uh, set everything up, uh, back breaking, uh, lifting heavy kettles and things like that. So um, over the past several years now, I've been kind of building a Home a home brewery on wheels, essentially, so I can actually get my any one of my homebrew systems out from my storage spot, out into my brewing space with, with minimal effort and setup. And I think I finally achieved it. I finally got the last piece put in place recently, so I'm finally doing a video to help share this with you folks to see if you think this will be useful for you. So. What I'm showing here is my brew wall. Now this is my brew wall because, um, like I said, uh, this is my garage. I can fix cars, I can throw parties out here, I do projects and all kinds of other things. So I pretty much have this space to store my brew stuff. I got a few things on the wall opposite, smaller pots and kettles and things like uh, food prep, things, just those kind of things. But primarily for, for brewing, it's right here. And so I have uh, a gas-fired uh, kettle with a stand. I have a spike solo down here, and I also have a breezy over here. And they're all pushed up against the wall. I got uh, sort of a pegboard here going on where I have uh, hooks and things hanging for brewing and for cooking and all that stuff, right? I got stuff back here, uh, Blackstone griddle and some other cooking stuff as well down below and behind me. Not the point of this video. It's more about the home brewing side, actually. So what I have here and what I fi finally figured out uh, since about 2017 when I think when I started doing this is that I bought a set of uh, carts, a set, a set of wheel carts. I got one right here and I got one right there um, holding multiple things, uh, home brewing gear, equipment, um, pumps and uh, accessories. The same thing over there, some more chillers, pumps, accessories, you know, whatever you need for the brew day. Uh, but what I like about this whole brewery on wheels is that this is going to be the cart I use for putting my controllers and other brewing equipment on next to my uh, homebrew system. So this gets wheeled out first, right? And now I have access to my, uh, my actual home homebrew systems. Let me move this out of the way. And so now if I decide I want to brew on, well, pr primarily nowadays I use the, uh, the Spike Solo or the Blickman Brew Easy. So what I do with those is that I just wheel them right out, just like that. <laughs> and out, out they come. I can uh, start disassembling things and put them together and hook up the uh, cart next to it, which I can show in a little B-roll overlay here, probably better than I can right now. And when I want to use this, I just wheel it out to where I need to use it and hook it up and go, and then I can wheel it back in place, just like that, right, when I'm done. Um, nope. Easy peasy, right? Same, same thing with the, with the uh, Blickman Brew Easy. This thing just wheels out. It's a little bit bigger, of course. <laughs> so I wheel this bad boy out uh, when I need to want to brew on this. And the same thing, I put it in the space that I want, dock the other card up next to it, and uh, hook up the controllers, and I'm ready to go a mobile brewery, at least mobile within context of the space that I'm in, it is. And when I'm done, I just roll it right on back. Just like that, right? Now, uh, what I didn't show you is the space behind the wall, so let me do that again. Move this out of the way over here. Move this one out of the way, maybe off camera this way a little bit more. And now I have access to my wall. I got other stuff behind here, spoons, brushes, things like that. Hoses, which are accessible by moving this cart out of the way, all right? So this cart can move out of the way. Oh, oh, watch the overhead space. And now I have access to all my hoses, uh, cooling hoses, transfer hoses and the like. I have all my uh, longer oblong objects like my carboy cleaning drill and auto siphons and other things on a hook up here. I got hoses uh, for my, uh, for, for hooking up to my, uh, my, my silk hock outside so I can uh, brew with the water from my um, spigot in the backyard. And I got buckets and I also have 
um, a bunch of black bins just off the edge of the camera there, which I then use uh, for storing long-term kind of brewing stuff that I don't use very often. And this is a effect, uh, this is basically it. Uh, this mobile brewery, easy in, easy out. I have access to the wall stuff. I can put the equipment back in place. And just like that, come back around, slide you in, and, uh, oh, and, and the cart. So when I'm done brewing, the cart goes right back in front, and um, I got space. The rest of my garage is now open for whatever I want to use it for. If I need to use space over here, again, these carts can move over to that side of the garage, over this side, that side, whatever, so I can rearrange my room most effectively for the event I'm doing, whether it be a brew day, a barbecue, or whatever, right? So I thought you might appreciate that, the little quick walkthrough of what I got. Um, I'll put links to the equipment that I'm using here in the video description. I got these carts from Home Depot, and uh, just to also give a little a prop to Blickman, they actually have these really awesome kettle carts, which is what you're seeing down below here. And they're heavy duty, stainless steel. Uh, they hold, they're designed to hold your, your brew kettles and not just the Blitman brew kettles, the spike kettles fit in there exactly the same way and probably a number of others too. And I'll put links to that in my uh, video description down below too. And uh, you know, go for it. Um, this, is, this is awesome. So, <laughs> all right, thanks for watching. I'll talk to you all later.